southwest of the Volgograd region, Kachinokovsky district. Here, at a depth of more than one kilometer, lies the Gromechinska deposit, with more than one and a half billion tons of sylvanite ore and its key component, potassium chloride. In 2005, Eurochem, one of the world's leading global fertilizer producers, secured a mining license to develop the Gromechinska sylvanite deposit. Four water-bearing formations lie in between the surface and the sylvanite ore. More than 40 holes were drilled around all three of the mine's future shafts. Casings were inserted in each borehole. These were then filled with typhoxit coolant. As the ground freezes around every casing, an ice wall forms and expands to form a wall which prevents water from from seeping in the shafts. The ice wall allows the sinking of the shafts of the future mine by drilling and blasting or mechanical methods. The skip shafts will be equipped with powerful multi-rope hoist systems. The cage shaft will be equipped with one large cage for lowering and winding people, equipment and materials. The two skip shafts will be equipped with two powerful skips in each shaft, capable of bringing to the surface up to 18 million tons of sylvanite ore per year. A modern, environmentally safe, low-noise and vibration ventilation plant will provide fresh air supply from the surface to the underground mining area. A heating plant will maintain constant air temperature, regardless of outside air temperature. The ore and beneficiated product will be transported through covered conveyor galleries. The ore will be processed at the beneficiation plant using standard flotation technology. Our rod mills will crush the ore to the proper size to allow for the flotation process to work and separate the potash from the other materials. Clays are removed from the process and sent to a tailings management area, or TMA. The clean milled ore still contains sodium salts and together this ore with air and flotation reagents are fed into the flotation cells. The crystals of the valuable sylvanite mineral become attached to bubbles in this conventional mineral separation process and rise to the surface. This valuable concentrate of potassium chloride is removed, then sent for drying, while the waste is directed to the TMA. There is a finished product warehouse, which are huge barns. The roof of the warehouse is composed of polymer material on wooden semi-arches. The material boasts a high light transmission factor, while the arches, made of glued laminated timber, also known as glue lamb beams, are immune to corrosion from the potassium salts and become sturdier with time. 250,000 tons of potassium chloride will be able to be stored here in the beginning of production, with the possibility to expand the storage area later on. To power the site, a large multi-fed electrical substation is already commissioned. Of strategic importance, it is not only able to supply power to the mining and processing facilities, but also to transit electricity from Rostov to the Volgograd region and vice versa. The use of the latest technology and equipment allowed to substantially lower the substation surface area while improving safety and overall efficiency. Three independent power sources ensure the reliable flow of electrical power to the site. A gas distribution station was built by Gazprom to provide natural gas supply for the mining and processing facilities. To handle cargo traffic, the Gromechia train station was reconstructed in cooperation with Russian railways and regional and federal authorities. The construction of the mining and processing facilities required that the railway infrastructure allow both the reception of construction material and, in time, the shipment of finished products. Eurochem Volgakali has already laid around 11 kilometers of rail track, administrative offices and maintenance buildings for rail car and locomotive repairs, as well as two overhead passes and the reconstruction of existing road junctions will be finished by 2018. The site will have a daily train handling capacity, including reception and dispatching of four trains per day. A mine rescue unit and the fire safety station were built and are operationally ready, with more than 200 specially trained rescue workers are available on a rotation basis and on call. The station will be staffed on a 24-7 basis. Eurochem Volgakali will begin production in 2018 and reach its full capacity of the first phase 2021, 
with potentially up to approximately 5 million tons per year in capacity by 2023. As of today, Eurochem plans to utilize the first million tons of production to satisfy intra-group demand. Once potash production is underway, Eurochem will be the first and only company in Russia and the fourth globally to be integrated in all three primary nutrient segments, nitrogen, phosphates, and potash.